YouTube, Three Rules Cinema back at you, and we have new pickups for you. First up is me, Jesse Midnight Crawler, and I have for you Hitchhike from 1977. It's an Italian film starring a great cast, Franco Nero, David Hess, including the French actress who's amazing in this. And it's a sleazy trip, man. That's how I'm going to put it. But this is a really nice Anchor Bay edition that I picked up at Astral Records in Bastrop with the guys. And I got to say, highly recommend this. If you like really bleak uh, films, really depressing films, definitely check this one out. Alright guys, next up I have a 2023 release and that's going to be Swamp Woman, directed by Sean Donahue. This is a Gator Blade Films along with Reaper Films and it stars the beautiful and lustful Sushi Zivet Holder. This is like a Swamp Thing ripoff, but it's done really low budget as well as um, filled with TNA guys. You guys all know what you came here for when you watch this film right here. And I gotta say, it was fun. Full of cheese and sleaze and I highly recommend you check it out. It's a great pop punk flick. And finally, guys, this is one I haven't seen yet, but I picked it up, and it looked like a super cool deal on Amazon. It's going to be this five-movie collection of Dragon Dynasty. Uh, four Jet Li films and one Stephen Chow film. Really looking forward to checking it out, guys. And that's going to do it for new pickups. Check out the rest of the guys. Peace. What's up, y'all? Game Dot Film here. I got three new pickups for you guys. Fatal Termination uh, from Air 4444. I got, uh, there was a couple different slipcovers you can get. I think I got option B. Um, you got the, some Thai artwork on that one. Bam. And uh, definitely got some special features. Um, Kenneth Brosson and Philip Gillen of the Podcast on Fire Network. Um, I love the films Manny told me. Uh, you got to listen to the commentaries. And I don't do that often, but now I'm really hyped to do that. Um, Simon Yam, Moon Lee. You got Robin Shaw, Robin Shu from uh, Mortal Kombat as well. Can't wait to watch this. I haven't seen it, guys. I went to Game Fellas. I got. To, I'm doing a Rocky marathon, right? So saw Rocky Four. Liked Dolph, Dolph Lundgren. Saw his name. So I got this movie. It was the Stone Cold Steve Austin man? It looks kind of, kind of looks like doo doo. But uh, uh, Jesse V. Johnson. He's he's the director too. So that was kind of the cherry on top. Had to get that one. Got a Dante Lamb film. Um, Operation Red Sea. It's a uh, a follow-up to Operation Mekong. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen this one either. Um, he's a great action director, guys. I had to grab this one, so excited to watch that. So all three action movies, man. But uh, this is probably my number one um, priority right here. But uh, those are my pickups. Thanks. Hey, everybody. What's going on? I love the films here. Doing our little segment for 3 Real Cinema. Here are my new pickups. All right. One of the first ones I want to talk about is a Criterion release of Hollywood Shuffle by Robert Townsend. Why is this special? So you've heard about filmmakers who go out there and they finance it all themselves. They use credit cards to go ahead and make a movie. That's the guy who pioneered that concept, Robert Townsend. The man was going ahead and he would have to stop filming, go actually do some acting work to raise some money to come back, use credit cards to pay little bits and pieces in order to make this film. This is one of the original guerrilla filmmakers one of the true independent filmmakers. I highly recommend this. It's a great social commentary on racial prejudice, on commentary on the way black people are being cast and not cast. And just, it overwhelms you with amazing, amazing good writing, good comedy, good filmmaking, good acting. It's a fantastic movie. Hollywood Shuffle, I recommend this all day long. Second one, there's gonna be a lot of mixed opinions about this, but I like it. The Flash, that's right. The DC Comics movie with Michael Keaton back as Batman. And you've got a Latina Supergirl. It's a good movie. It's entertaining. It's fun. If you don't like superhero movies, cool. I understand. If you do like superhero movies and just want entertainment, The Flash, I will recommend this. Good times. A lot of fun. Next, Mad Heidi. So this is one of those crazy, crazy things. You know Heidi, right? The little Swiss girl story. Well, imagine Grindhouse meets Heidi. That's it. Gory, insane. And this special cheese edition has not only the movie, it's got the soundtrack. That's right. Gore and music. Come on. How can you miss? Man, Heidi, look for this. And the piece de resistance. 4K. 
Bloodsport. This is from the UK. Hasn't been released in America. And as I've said before, and I'll say again, 4K means region free. Get a 4K player, and then you can get some of those amazing releases from around the world that are on 4K and play them here. So this thing is a media book, and it's much larger than a regular DVD. Look, look at that size difference. Look at that. Magnificent. Magnificent. <laughs> but the most important thing is blood sport in 4K. Who thought that would ever happen? Jean-Claude Van Damme at his badass, awesome self. Again, this is the movie that launched him. And let's not forget the magnificent Bolo. The ultimate bad guy was in here. That's right, Bolo from Into the Dragon. If you haven't seen this movie, great, great 80s action, typical, insane 80s action, over-the-top 80s action, super entertainment, blood sport. Thanks a lot. I love the films.